Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 21 of my RStudio tutorials here on YouTube. So today we're going to have another look at mediation and we're going to take a look at the Baron and Kenny method and how it works and how you can interpret it and how you can get to those answers in RStudio. Uh, so first of all, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible so every subscription would be very much appreciated. So today we're going to have another look at mediation and you can see the model in the right uh, upper uh, the upper right of your screen. And you can see that mediation has a direct effect from the independent to the dependent variable, but also affects from the independent to the mediator and from the mediator to the, di to the uh, dependent variable. And if you struggle with that, then please rewatch episodes 19 and 20 because they explain mediation and this really continues to build on that. So it's important that you understand the basics. So if you don't rewatch episode 19, I strongly recommend that. So today we're going to take a look at Baron and Kenny method. And what it basically means is that it explains that the mediation uh, it stays the same, uh, has the same uh, strength as the original effect. So the original effect is just from X to Y. So from the independent to the dependent variable. And it has the uh, letter C. And what the Kenny and Baron method shows is that the strength of the original effect is the same as the new direct effect from uh, the independent to the dependent plus the uh, product, so times A, times b so and you can see that over here so the original effect is the same as the new direct effect plus the product of the two mediation strengths and important is that you look at the betas so not at the slopes this time but at the betas so the beta of the direct effect is the same as the beta of the new direct effect plus the beta of the new uh, mediator effect times the beta of the other mediator effect. And then you get to the same answer. And that proves that the mediation actually stays the same. The total effect stays the same. It doesn't change. Because it might look, uh, because the new direct effect is always a bit less than the old direct effect. But it shows that if you combine all the effects, it's the same as the old effect. Okay, so how do you get to those effects in RStudio? Because that's of course what we're here for. All right, so how do we do actually do this in RStudio? Well, first of all, we're gonna install a package. So you type library and then between brackets, uh, lm point beta. If you haven't installed this uh, package already, you need, to, uh, you need to install the package first. If you don't know how to install a package, then check out episode number one from my R tutorials in which I explain it in more details. Then second of all, we're gonna create a we're gonna create an object for each of the regression models, which means that the first object is gonna be called main from main effect, and it consists of the linear model, and then uh, in this case the dependent variable is mediator the data set, and then the object the uh, the variable is called income. This is the dependent variable. Then the independent variable is mediator as the data set and then uh, dollars, uh, dollar sign and then job and then comma and then the data set we're using is mediator. So in this case, we want to create an object called main. It, it consists of the linear model with the dependent variable income, the independent variable job and the data is the mediator uh, data set. And then we press control enter and then it has made this object. And then, because we've installed the package, we can ask for lm.beta, and then for this main object, and then control enter. And then in the bottom, we can see that the standardized coefficients, in other words, the beta of mediator uh, of job is 0 0.967. So that's the beta of the direct main effect is 0 0.968 which we can now fill in 0 0.968 
Okay, what we're now going to do is do a multiple linear regression with both the deep independence variable and the mediator. So we're going to create a new uh, we're going to create a new uh, object which is going to be called media mediation and which consists of the linear model with mediator mediator uh, dollar sign income still as the dependence variable but the inca uh, the independence variables are in this case mediator uh, dollar sign job but also so plus mediator uh, dollar sign uh, salar salary and then a comma and then a me and then the data set we're using is mediator so in this case we're going to create a new object called mediation and it consists of the linear model with income as the dependent variable job as the independent variable and also salary as the independent variable then press ctrl enter and it has now made and of, and of course, we use the wavy, curvy symbol between the dependent and the independent variables. And then you run the code. And then again, we're going to ask for lm.beta for the, in this case, the mediation object. So the mediation model. And then we press Ctrl Enter. And then in the bottom, we can see the new standardized coefficients in, in the first place for the job. So this is job to income. So this is the new direct effect, which is going to be 0 0.766, 0 0.766. This is the new direct effect. The, what we created at first was the original direct effect, but this is the new direct effect. And we also have the effect from mediator on the dependent variable from salary on income, which if we look at R is uh, 0 0.262. So this is from salary to income is 0 0.262. And now the only thing that we're missing is still is the A line. So from independence variable, from job to the salary mediating variable. So that's what we're going to do next in R. We're going to create a final object. I'll call it final. And it's going to consist of, it's going to consist of the linear model with the dependence variable, this time being mediator and then dollar sign salary and the independence variable being mediator dollar sign job and then the data is mediator so this is going to create our final uh, object and if we then ask for the lm dot beta for this final object it's going to give us if we press ctrl enter in the bottom we can see the new standardized coefficients so from job to salary the beta is 0 0.770 if we round it off 0 0.770 0 0.770 so now we have all the values we need at this point in time and now we can do the actual calculation that c should be the new direct effect plus the mediating effects so in other words the c apostrophe 0 0.766 plus 0 0.770 times 0 0.262 equals 0 0.968 which is the original direct effect so indeed it did work so we've now proven that the that the power so the total effect of the mediation did not change at first it was 0 0.968 and that's the same as the new direct effect plus the product of the two indirect effect effects times each other. Okay, so that's the end of today's episode. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it wasn't, then please, you can ask a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like on this video. And furthermore, subscribe to this YouTube channel. But for now, guys, I see you on the next tutorial.
Ciao.